In this lesson, we'll learn how to add smooth scrolling to your Webflow site using the Linus library. Currently, Linus is the best smooth scroll library for Webflow because it supports position sticky and native interactions. There's been a couple changes recently to how to set Linus up, along with some specific things we need to do when using it in Webflow. So we'll cover all that, grab the clonable in the description below, and let's get started. I've added the code for this in the page settings of the clonable. For a multi-page site, this code would need to be moved to project settings instead. Here we have the CSS, Linus recommends, and also our JavaScript. By default, Linus disables scrolling when we're logged into the Webflow editor inside the editor panel. So this code here is making sure Linus only runs when we're not in editor mode. We have some optional settings we can apply to configure Linus itself, along with some methods to either enable or disable scrolling the page with Linus. Finally, Linus recommends this code here if we're using GSAP scroll trigger. So if you're using scroll trigger, just uncomment this line to activate it. Personally, I haven't noticed much difference with using this or not when scroll trigger is applied. So there's a couple other attributes we can apply. First is data Linus stop. We can apply this to any link and say this link were to open a pop-up. If we apply this attribute to it, it'll disable the page from scrolling when we click on this link. Same for data Linus start, maybe we apply this to the close button inside of the pop-up and whenever we click that link, it'll enable the page to scroll again. Here we have data Linus toggle and if we apply this attribute to maybe a menu button, then on first click, it'll disable page from scrolling and on second click, it will enable the page to scroll. Now any divs on our site that are set to overflow scroll or overflow auto, we need to add an attribute of data Linus prevent to those divs to allow us to scroll inside them. Otherwise, Linus will disable scrolling on these elements. Those are really all the attributes we need. Now let's talk about the settings we can use to configure Linus, starting with Lerp. There wasn't much info in the docs about what Lerp does, so I turned to ChatGTP for help. Apparently, Lerp is used to interpolate the current scroll position with a target position, and a smaller Lerp value means a smoother animation. Lerp accepts any value from 0 to 1, and the default is 0 0.1. We can also set duration and easing, but these are useless if Lerp is defined, and personally I've noticed the experience is smoothest when using Lerp, which is probably why it's applied by default. We can still adjust the speed though by using wheel multiplier, anything above 1 will be faster than normal scroll, anything below 1 will be a bit slower. The smooth scroll is disabled by default on touch devices because smooth scroll feels a bit weird on touch devices. We could always change this to true if we'd like and even control the touch speed independently here. We have orientation of our scroll by default and in most cases those will be set to vertical. And then we have gesture orientation for our trackpad if we want to control scrolling just from up and down or left and right or both directions, we can choose that from here. And finally, we have infinite. This means when we reach the bottom of the page, it'll restart to the top. This is turned off by default, but we can always enable it. I think I'll add one more page to the clonable just to show the infinite effect. So we'll go ahead and set infinite to true, and we need to add some CSS to hide our scroll bar because it breaks the illusion of an infinite scroll when we see the scroll bar jumping around. So our first section on the site would need to have a height of 100 VH. For now, I'll just use this image as the placeholder of my first section, and then we'd need an extra copy edit of it at the very bottom of our site below our footer. So that way, when we reach the bottom of the page, it'll just instantly reset us back to the top, and it'll look like we haven't moved at all. So let's go ahead and publish this and see how it feels with Linus Smooth Scroll enabled and with Infinite applied. So if we go ahead and scroll through this, we have some nice smooth action going on here. And you'll notice I can keep scrolling throughout this whole page in either direction really, and it feels completely infinite either way. So that wraps up this tutorial on how to use Linus Smooth Scroll in your project.